All right, so you've taken the time to completely detail your vehicle. You hit it with whatever products, did your buffing, polishing, waxing. Now you're all done. Well, now what? Well, now you just got to maintain it. So luckily, the hard part's over. And now it should be really easy to take care of your freshly restored paint job. So I just want to take you guys through some products that I've used, give you some of my feedback and talk about what you really need to maintain this shine. You know, you put a lot of work into getting this paint straightened out. So what do we have to do to keep it looking good? Well, pretty simple. You got a couple of different routes you can go. Um, I know I've mentioned this before, like my 03 Lincoln LS. I'm like a really big fan of these spray detailers. I actually use this uh, Ultimate uh, Wash and Wax quite often, but depending on how dirty or not dirty it is, you know, there's plenty of times where I just run over it with a quick detailer. And if you've seen, uh, you know, I did a review on some of this stuff, and I mean, I like all these products. You know, that's just me. And I mean, that might be kind of crazy, but I think nine times out of 10, I pick the product based on like what I want to smell for the day. So that's up to you. You know, if you, if you use these products and like, maybe you use the Eagle one and you're like, yeah, I like this stuff. And you know, I like the price point, you know, the Eagle one is probably the best bang for the buck. It's pretty cheap and it does a great job. But a lot of times I'm just running over the vehicle with a quick detailer. And that also means, you know, you can use the M34, you know, and you should have this laying around if you did some polishing, some buffing and polishing. Definitely use that stuff to, you know, clean up your polish and all that. So, you know, depending on how, the, how dirty it is, you could either go down the route of just using a spray product. Or you can get into, you know, just doing a wash, which, you know, sometimes I'll do that. You know, this spring I, I washed the Lincoln with that Zymol and I hit it with the clay bar and it turned out really good. So kind of the same deal too, you know, if you've been doing some polish work, you should definitely have a bunch of microfibers laying around. So if you do decide to get into doing these spray products, you know, definitely use two towels and you might go through a total of four or six towels wiping your vehicle off, you know, and I feel like you should use one towel to wipe like I'll I'll wet product onto one towel and wipe, and I'll use a separate towel for the, for the drying and the final wiping. So you're kind of spreading the product with the first towel, and then you're doing a final wipe with the second one. You know, in my opinion, you get a much better result with that too. And then depending on how it's going, you know, you might be like, oh, this wipe towel is getting really dirty. So just go grab a new towel for the wipe towel, or take your dry towel, start using that as the wipe towel, and grab a fresh towel to be your dry towel. Get a little more mileage out of this stuff. I feel like you use less product doing it that way with the two towels. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I've touched on this before. And, you know, there's people that really hate this thing. I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of it, the California Car Duster. This thing works out really great, you know, if you got a layer of dust on your vehicle. So, you know, let's say you're getting ready to wipe it off and you're like, oh man, you know, I want to I wanna hit it with this gold class detailer. But you've got like this layer of just dust on there. Well... You know, just hit it with that car duster. And like I said, I mean, there's people that are going to cry about, oh, the car duster scratches the paint. It's like, well, I don't know, dude. That's your choice. If you're if you're one of those people, you think the car duster is terrible, then don't use it. That's fine. Uh, if you're the kind of person that's like, hey, I want to get this dust off my car because it looks terrible and I don't feel like washing the whole thing, then use the California car duster. It's up to you. It's your car. Do whatever you want to your car. So, yeah, you can use that car duster. Get the dust off of there. Pick any one of these detail sprays. You know, I kind of lean towards these because they have some wax content in them. I'm a pretty big fan of that. You know, and once again, if you're kind of more budget minded, you save a lot of money just buying a gallon of final inspection and you can wipe the vehicle off with that. That's totally fine. Perfect choice. So like I said, for me personally, I like most of the time I'm cleaning a vehicle, I use a spray detailer. So then kind of coming back to the spray waxes, you know, if I'm going to actually wash the car, I usually come back with a spray wax because it's just, it's so fast and easy. And to me, you just get a really good result for the time put into it. So 
I'm also a huge fan of wash and wax. Like this ultimate stuff is probably one of my favorites. Eagle One also makes a nano wash that that stuff's great too. The thing that's funny about the nano wash and the ultimate wash and wax is they don't really, uh, they don't give you a lot of suds, which some people get really hung up on that. I don't really care. To me, it's like, I don't care if there's no suds. I just want to get my car cleaned. So if you're the kind of person that's into suds, I would get the gold class. Gold class is pretty sudsy, and the Zymol is pretty sudsy too. And the Zymol, I mean all these products smell pretty good, but the Zymol stuff is, is pretty awesome. I think uh, Zymol pretty much leads the good smells department on most of these products. So for me personally, the whole waxing thing, it really depends on you know whether I feel like it needs it or not. You know, if you're having a hard time wiping the vehicle off like let's say you cleaned it off with a quick detailer you know you might want to think about waxing it or you might need to clay it you know run your hand over that surface is it rough again i mean trust me it doesn't take long it's kind of shocking you know you might uh it might only be a month later and you run your hand over that surface and it's like sandpaper again so you might need to hit it with the clay so once again the easiest way to do that wash the car get a fresh bucket of soapy water and, uh, you know, I like using that Eagle One clay mitt or whatever clay of your choice. Run over with the clay, dry it off, and you could top it off with a spray wax. Or we could move into using, you know, like a dedicated wax. So, I just wanted to touch on these a little bit too, you know. Over here I've got the high-tech wax, liquid or paste. Got the uh, Mother's cleaner wax. That stuff is really awesome. You know, this side is pretty much cleaner wax as the black wax is a cleaner wax. Obviously, the M6 cleaner wax is a cleaner wax. And the D166 is also, you know, falls into the department of being a cleaner wax. So, you know, the question between a, a pure wax and a cleaner wax just really boils down to, you know, do you want to get some kind of a polishing effect out of your wax job? Like, if you feel like... The surface needs a little bit of a polish to it maybe it's dulling out a little or or you don't have clay and you're not interested in using clay you know a lot of times these cleaner waxes they're pretty similar to a clay bar they'll they'll rip those bonded contaminants off the surface you know I feel like the clay is definitely a better way to do that but if you're not into clay for whatever reason or you don't want to deal with it that's fine pick up a cleaner wax and it should knock all those contaminants off the surface so kind of getting into like the difference between, you know, you've basically got liquid wax, the paste wax, and then these spray waxes. You know, to me, a big part of it really boils down to how you want to use it. And I think where the liquid products really shine is being able to use a DA. Now, in my opinion, I'm not really going to get into using like this, this 26. It's not really a, a cleaner wax. So I don't feel like it's really beneficial to use a DA with this product. And uh, I mean, there's some people, I guess they like applying wax with a DA. That's fine. I'm not one of those people. To me, I'd rather just apply it by hand. That's what I prefer to do. So I'm really not going to get into applying this product with a dual action polisher. Now, on the other hand, when you get into these products over here that are a dedicated cleaner wax, you know, and this uh, black wax, technically a paste, but it's... It's pretty watery paste. You can definitely get away with using it on a dual action polisher. So, I mean, these products, yeah, to me, there, there's a benefit to, you could use it by hand if you want, but there is definitely a benefit to using a dual action polisher with these products. You know, being a liquid product gives you the ability to use it with that dual action polisher and being a cleaner wax, that dual action polisher is just gonna make it that much more effective. So. I'm definitely a fan of using a DA with any kind of a cleaner wax. I feel like even though you can use it by hand, you're going to get a, a better result using it with a dual action polisher. So then moving into these paste waxes, which I'll tell you right now, this Mother's Cleaner Wax is probably one of the best cleaner waxes I've ever used. It just has a really phenomenal result. So if you're that kind of person where you want like the best result for the minimum amount of work you know wash your car with a decent uh you know just like a wash and wax any of these whatever car wash and come back and hit it with a coat of this paste wax my other tip with this stuff is don't do not do the whole vehicle 
And I would not, like, I would not put a coat of this on and then, like, let it sit overnight, which is something I do sometimes. Now, like, the getting into this high-tech wax, you know, this just being a pure wax, no issue. Put it on there. You could let it sit for a day, let it really soak in. You could come back, go to remove it, no problems. This stuff, it's going to be really hard to get off. And to me, it's not really, like, based on temperature either, like... It could be warm out, you're gonna have trouble getting off. It could be cold out, you're gonna have trouble getting it off. So like for me, like if I was waxing the truck with this stuff, I would apply it to the fender, I would apply it to the door, and then I would apply it to this bedside, come back, and get the fender wiped off. And then maybe like keep working around, like go apply it to the tailgate, come back, and remove it from the door, Kind of like leapfrog back and forth so apply it to one panel and then remove it from one of the other panels like you really don't want to let that stuff sit on there and lock up so and if you've never used this product before like i would definitely recommend that you kind of spend some time getting used to it because if you have a problem with it it's just going to be really difficult to remove So that's my thoughts on the mothers. I think that stuff works out really good. If you're one of those people, like once again, you don't really want to put a lot of effort into it, but you want a really good result, you know, you definitely want to look into the cleaner waxes. They have their advantages. And then kind of getting back to the spray wax, like to me, the big thing with spray wax is just sheer convenience. So kind of going back to my Lincoln, you know, there was a time when, uh, you know, I was really into actually washing it with with a you know with a, a car wash soap that was kind of before I got into the whole just cleaning it with a quick detailer deal but what worked out good with that is uh, you know I'd wash the car off and uh, get it dried and then I would just come back and hit it with one of these spray waxes because it was so just super quick and easy and then it, it also kind of helped out with like uh, you know, some of the water spots will kind of wipe off of there too, just using the spray wax. Almost like a quick detailer. I mean, that's probably more of a job for a quick detailer, but, uh, you know, you get done washing the vehicle, you're putting a, the spray wax on, you get a couple drips here or there. Usually the spray wax will help you just get it off of there. So you get, to me, you get a really nice clean result. And yeah, you're not going to get the result of, of durability from like a paste wax, but you are getting wax on the surface so to me that's a pretty big benefit like i feel like getting something on there is better than doing nothing and i also feel like using the spray wax is so fast and easy like you almost don't even have an excuse to not use it and same thing with applying that stuff like i'll just grab two towels very similar to just running over it with quick detailer you know grab two towels use one towel to wipe one towel to dry like i said you might have to use a few a few towels to do it Although, being a clean surface, you can usually get the whole vehicle done with just two towels. I mean, when you're cleaning off a dirty car with a quick detailer, you're going to tend to go through more towels. So, that's really all you, you have to do to maintain your vehicle. You know, hitting it with a nice uh, washing wax, always a good idea. You know, having a little bit of wax in the wash, I think, is a good idea. And, uh... I guess one of the other things I should touch on, you know, vehicles that a lot of newer vehicles have all this like textured plastic going on. And uh, the one thing I will say about the quick detailer, like on this truck, I really like using the, uh, the ultimate quick detailer because I can wipe the surface, all the painted surfaces off, and then I can just go right over that plastic and it actually shines it up. Like it does a good job of making it look nice. So. You don't have to worry about staining it or anything. And that kind of goes back to the paste wax. You know, you got to be very careful with the paste wax because if I come over here and I'm waxing up this, this door here, definitely do not want to get wax on that texture. You know, the paste wax has a tendency to get caught into that texture and it's really hard to get out of there. Or sometimes it'll stain it. So that's another consideration too you know you might actually have to mask that stuff off with masking tape before you you put wax on it so that's another advantage for the spray wax you know and the other thing you could do you could combo it up like maybe you want to use uh, paste wax 
but you don't want to deal with masking all this stuff off. Well, go ahead and paste wax where there's no, there's nothing to run into textured plastic wise. And then, you know, like doing the tops of these doors, just use the spray wax. You know, the other thing that's good about the spray wax, you know, you can wipe it on the rubber and all the trim around the door. You know, it's definitely not a bad idea to get some kind of wax on those parts of the vehicle as well. So, the other thing I'll get into is just touching up the, the tires, which, you know, I'm a big fan of this spray foam stuff. That works out great. If you want, you can use the tire endurance. I feel like the gel is probably a good thing to do after like really scrubbing the tire down and cleaning it. So let's say I just decided to wipe my car off with a quick detailer. You know, I'll go, go around the car, get it wiped off with a quick detailer, and then you can use that stuff on the rims. Spray wax is amazing on rims. That is a, a great product to use on rims. Always a good idea. And then same thing with the quick detailer. If you just want to get those rims wiped off, no problem. Hit them with the, the detailer. Now, of course, it boils down to how dirty it is. I mean, if, you, if you've got wheels that are absolutely destroyed with dirt, you should probably bust out the hose and clean them, you know, with a dedicated wheel cleaner. But, you know, if you wash your car and it's a week later and you're like, oh, there's a little bit of doo-doo sauce on here, you know, go ahead. Grab a quick detailer and wipe it off. There's, it's no problem. And then, uh, so like I said, if I'm just doing a, a wipe off of the vehicle, and I just want to get the tire shined up again, and I don't want to deal with this stuff, then just grab that foam. You know, spray a coat on there, grab a, you know, like, I'll just use whatever dry towel I use to wipe the car off. You know, I'm done wiping the car, so I'll just grab that dry towel I used on the paint, and I'll use it to wipe off any excess foam that gets on the rim or whatever. So kind of keep that in mind too, you know. Um, you don't necessarily have to grab a brand new towel to wipe the foam off if you're foaming out the tires. You know, you can go ahead and use a towel that you're done with for the paint. It's gonna get washed anyways. All right, I think that pretty much covers it. You know, do not overlook how important wax is. You know, it's funny because sometimes I come across people that are like, all right, wax is a gimmick. It's like, no dude, it's not a gimmick. Like, your paint does need the wax. So, like I said, I, I just kind of wanted to cover what would go into maintaining it, maintaining your paint, you know, once you get it all buffed up and polished and it's looking nice, you know, you want to keep it looking nice. You know, these are all great products for doing that. And hopefully I explained why you would pick one product over another and, you know, kind of getting into, I, I think everyone has this attitude like, well, what's the best? It's like, well, I don't know, like, I'll tell you this much, like, this is a pretty low end product, this quick wax, and it's pretty good. As a matter of fact, I did a, an appearance test with this. I didn't get it on video, which I should have done, but because uh, I did that spray wax video. And so just messing around with this stuff after I bought it, you know, it's pretty much up there with the, with the quick wax and the gold class. And I think in that video, the turtle wax ice gave a nice appearance boost too. I mean, this stuff darkened up the paint. It gave an appearance boost. So, you know, and I was kind of shocked, like the, the Eagle One... Uh, the nano wax which I actually like that stuff it didn't really provide much of an appearance boost but I mean just I'd use that Eagle One product and I mean it would bead water and you know I mean I can't say it was useless but from an appearance standpoint it didn't really give you an appearance boost but kind of getting back to what product to pick I mean you can get a pretty decent result out of some of the lower end products you know this quick wax it's pretty it's pretty low end it's pretty cheap affordable but, I mean, don't discount what it's worth. You know, you could, you know, that could be your regiment too. I mean, you could just pick a nice uh, car soap, wash your car with the soap, get it dried off, you know, hit it with the, the quick wax, and you'll be good to go. I mean, it doesn't take that much to, to increase the longevity of your paint. You know, if you're giving it that nourishment, it's going to last a lot longer. So, all right, guys. I hope this, uh, this video has helped you kind of understand what you need to do to keep your car looking good. You know, don't overlook those quick detailers. You know, especially a lot of cars now have that plastic trim on there. The quick detailers are really great. And then, uh, you know, 
probably test it on an inconspicuous area or even read on the back like a lot of products will tell you if they can or cannot be used on trim or plastic it's always a good idea to double check that um, my experience all of these that are right here are fine on plastic trim I haven't had any issues so I don't think I've ever had a, a spray product where I had issues with plastic trim but you know just be aware of that I don't want someone to go spraying up their plastic trim and get upset because it gets destroyed you know you have to uh, do your due diligence and make sure you check it out for yourself. So there you go. And then I guess the last thing with this final inspection, you know, yeah, you can wipe your car off with it. It's, it's going to give you a good result. But I still kind of feel like I'm a fan of getting something with a wax on it just because I want to have that little bit of wax boost on there. Get that little bit of extra nourishment on that paint when I can. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. I hope uh, some of you guys are getting out there and uh, cleaning up your cars. It's definitely worth the time and effort, you know, get a pretty nice result out of it. And, uh, you know, if anything, maintain the, uh, the resale value of your vehicle, too, or restore it. You know, maybe, maybe you've got an older car and it's not looking so good. You know, get out there and... Uh, you know, try out some of these products, see what kind of result you can get. And even that, you know, you don't have to do the whole vehicle. I mean, you could buy a product and just try it out on the fender and do some experiments, see what works for you. You know, what works on one car might not work on another one. Just keep that in mind, you know, it's kind of a process. And I think that's kind of what keeps people coming back to this stuff, you know. It's kind of the, uh, the allure of, oh, what, what's going to work best or what's going to give me the best result. It's definitely interesting. So at the end of the day, I think you're going to end up deciding like what works best for you. You know, like I said, I mean, I could pick one wax, one spray detailer, one spray wax. I mean, I could do that. But for me, I just kind of get into using the different products, too. So, I mean, you don't, you don't have to be this crazy with it. I'm sure, there's people that are watching this that are like, wow, this guy's got a bunch of wax. Like, why do you even need that? Well, I don't. Honestly, I don't. But... The one cool thing about it is at least I can make videos, give you my feedback. And that's kind of what I like about YouTube too, you know. It's like people can share their experiences. You know, you can get more feedback on these products and make a better choice when you go to purchase something. So, as always guys, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber. And leave a comment, you know. What do you like using on your car? Maybe you're using a product that's not in this, in this video. So go ahead, leave a comment. Let us know what you like using, how you do it. You know, maybe you've come up with a new way that no one's thought of yet. So, you know, be sure to share your experiences with us. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.